So you have made a bad hire. Fire them. Problem solved. I wish it was that easy. I know we have legal and HR and everybody else that has their hand in the hiring process, onboarding and so forth. But when you make a bad hire or you believe it's not the right fit, whether it's culture, leadership contributions, functional skills, technical skills, integrity, character, professionalism, all of the above or any of the above, you can mix and match as you please. It is important to have these conversations early on and set the standards and levels of performance that are expected on your team by you to every single individual. Not only, and I understand this, this is a lot more challenging to those who have hundreds or thousands of people who are part of their teams, but obviously communicate with your leadership team and make sure you communicate with everybody who reports to you directly on an ongoing basis. And then do whatever you can to make sure that they themselves share the same mission, right? Same vision and same why. Why are we doing what we're doing with the rest of their teams? So if you've made a bad hire, do whatever you can to have face-to-face -face meeting with that individual as soon as you can and find out if there were misunderstandings on both ends. Did they believe that their job was one, two, and three? when you actually expected them to do eight, nine, and 10. And how did it get to that point? Right, if you did your due diligence. Two, find out what you can do to help them be successful. You know how long it takes to find a really good candidate. The process, the onboarding, the searching, recruiters, depending on the level of position, the time that you have to invest yourself with the rest of your search committee or, or the folks who are tasked for, with replacing that position. So you don't want just to bring somebody in a month later, fire them, bring another one, fire That just doesn't really help or serve anyone. Yes, with every failed search, so to speak, you should learn on how to improve the process and how to make sure that you, starting everything starts from you, how to make sure that you are held accountable to a higher standard. And what can you do to empower and enable the rest of your team so that they themselves are successful in the search? But Ultimately, the bottom line of it is, if you know that someone is not a good fit, please, I mean please, I don't care, it's your business, it's your company, but do whatever you can not to feed and support that failed decision or bad decision for the next five years. If you know they're not good, you work with them, you talk to them, you give them resources, you got other people involved to enable them and support them to change their ways and to be successful, to be members of your team. But now you're five, seven, 12 months in and nothing's changed. Things are getting worse. They're becoming toxic factor to your environment, to your operations. You have to be the one who's gonna be the surgeon and extract that out of your environment. So when you make decisions, and they end up proving to be the wrong ones. And no matter what you do, and hiring is certainly one of them, own them and say, look, I picked the wrong candidate. We now know that six months in. Let's go figure out a way how to help them land gracefully somewhere else, work with them on their exit strategy and a plan because this doesn't work. And no sense of throwing another six or 12 months behind the, the original six months, which just didn't work. So. When you have someone who you have hired and they're not working out for a variety of reasons, help them succeed, work with them. But if there's no progress, because both sides have to be engaged and have a stake in the game. If he or she is unwilling to meet you at least halfway, to be a contributing member of your community, of your team, if they're unable to fulfill the duties for which they were hired, you have to find a way to part ways. Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best, and as always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing if you're watching on YouTube or on LinkedIn, just like it and share with your colleagues and friends. And most importantly, leave a comment with your thoughts and experiences on hiring people which may not have worked out. Have a wonderful day.